What's up everybody? Well, I got another unboxing video for you guys today. And today we are going to have a look at this Lalano. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. I could be pronouncing that wrong as I often do. Uh, laptop cooler. Now, why am I getting another laptop cooler you asked? Well, this Alienware M18 is a little too chonky for that other one I've got. What the hell was it called? It was really, it used to be the old top dog. I think it was the IETS. 500 and I think they made a 600 too so not quite top dog but like I guess third place but anyway but it, my laptop couldn't quite fit on that guy I mean it would sort of fit and it would I could probably make it work but I was like nah I'm just gonna go get this guy because it's bigger and it's apparently a little bit better and it even had a freaking Alienware laptop sitting on it so I was like huh okay well maybe this will solve the uh, 100 degree temp problems probably not it could be just like my uh, Asus G50 Vantage maybe it's just got a bad paste job and no matter what I do it's not going to change because my old laptop that I had before I opened it up and tried to put redo the liquid metal and all that stuff which I never should have done only made things worse but that was mostly my bad not saying no one should do it that was just a me I shouldn't have done that but anyway when I got that other cooler I uh, got like six degrees off of the thing on the CPU at points and like 10 degrees off on the GPU at points until I messed with it so I'm hoping though that it just needs a little bit more cool air pushed in there so hopefully this guy will work so let's not waste any more time on this intro and let's get this unboxing started well all right let's get to unboxing this thing and of course you have to have a cool knife to unbox it with so we'll use this one this time around at least I think it looks pretty cool. Can't really get it to a point where it wants to focus, but regardless, it's Damascus, and I'm a sucker for Damascus. I always thought it looked really cool. So, actually, yeah, you should never cut at yourself. Focusing too much on the video there, forgetting what you're supposed to do there. You're not supposed to cut towards yourself. All right, now let's shut that knife. And let's see, I don't want to hit my laptop. I wish I had a designated unboxing area here so I didn't have to like destroy my laptop accidentally. Oh, it cut it so well. There we go, that I can't get my finger under there. There we go. So what are we greeted with? We got a little baggie. Looks like it's got like what looks to be filters. We've got our little plug for plugging it into the wall. And besides that, it looks like we just have the cooling pad. So let's turn it upside down and get her out of there. And then we can give Misty a box. There you go, Misty. Have fun. And then those aren't going to hurt the laptop. We can set that on there. And then, yeah, there's the cooling pad. So I'm going to get it out of this crinkly package thing real quick, and we'll take a closer look at all this stuff. Well, I had to have a quick interruption because I was not expecting Misty to try to fit into that. Yeah, you're getting a little too big. I would say you're about fully grown for your base of a forest cat. I don't think you could fit into little things like that. You used to be able to when you were a kitten. But anyway, back to the scheduled unboxing. All right, we've got it all unpackaged now. So pretty much what you get in the box is you get your, of course, your big cooling pad here. You get your little foam, which just kind of sits there. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't appear to. I could be wrong, but it doesn't seem to have any sticky stuff to keep it stuck down. So it just kind of is held down by your laptop's weight. But that's okay. And then besides that, like I said, you get your little charge port thing, wall wart, whatever you want to call it. And what do we got here? 12 volt, 3 amps. Yeah. Doesn't feel like the worst quality thing ever. You also get a USB-C to USB pass through here. Because it does have a 3 port hub on it. So that's pretty neat. I could actually use that. All my ports, I believe, are used. Actually, no, they're not. I've got one free port on there, so I don't know if I'll use it or not, but it would make things a little easier to have some more ports open. But regardless, then besides that, you also get one extra filter. And, of course, you get your little instruction manual, but, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Place your laptop on here. You've got little 
feet that can come up to hold your laptop in place if you're going to angle it. And I think this one has its intake on the bottom, so I think you have to angle it. But let's take a quick look around this thing a little closer. So you've got your power and your, uh, your switch on your lights because it does have RGB. You can switch your color too. So it's got different things here. You got your fan speed here. Like I said, you got your little tabs. You've got your big fan right there. You've got a inquisitive kitty right here. <laughs> I'm trying to do an unboxing video, Misty. You trying to help? Oh. You're such a cute kitty, but I'm trying to make a video. So, all right, let's continue. So then on this side, you've got your plug for your power. Then you got your USB-C. And then you've got your USB, your USB ports right there. And then on the back, that's where all the RGB is, I think. You would think that that's like the intake, but I think it's just a sticker. Yeah, there's no actual air intake there. The actual air intake is on the bottom, so you do have to tilt this one, unlike the old one I had, the, Le the L what was it, LETS 500. That one, it was kind of on the back, so you didn't have to tilt it if you didn't want to. So... That's pretty much that, so why don't we go ahead, plug it into a wall, get it hooked up to the... Well, actually, before we do any of that, let's go ahead and go get some baselines on the laptop without a cooling pad so we can see if this actually even helps me out any before we get it all attached. Because once I get that thing under that laptop, I'm probably not going to remove it from it until I go somewhere. So I don't really want to be lifting it up and lifting it off too many times you know especially because people say that the uh plug on the back of those alienware laptops is a little temperamental you don't want to be unplugging it and plugging it in too much which i'm like oh that's great on a laptop that makes it super mobile although it is an 18 inch laptop so it's not exactly the most mobile thing in the world it's mostly like a desktop replacement you can take with you places but you can't really use it like on a plane or on a train or anywhere other than like plugged into a wall somewhere Anyway, that's besides the point. Let's get on with this. All right, real quick, I just want to show you what the RGB looked like. We're not going to sit here and go through every conceivable mode, but there you go. Just like I said, it goes around the fake looking vents, but no air comes out of here at all. It gets all of its stuff from underneath. So it's funny enough, though, this looks very similar to the way it's done on the back of that Alienware back there. But I just wanted to show you that real quick before we got anything else. Hopefully I remember to put this you know, where it should be in the video. I should have done this right after the unboxing, but I kind of was like, wait, people might be interested in the RGB. Not too many people probably, but some might, so might as well do that real quick. Anyway though, now let's get on to the pre-test with the laptop with no cooling pad. That way we can get on and see how it does with the cooling pad. All right, real quick before we started doing the gaming, I had another idea. Uh, people might be interested to see how loud the thing gets. So I figured instead of testing it with no laptop on it, no one's just gonna set this thing on a table and then run it with no laptop on it. So let's see how it does with a laptop on top of it and all that good stuff. I'm gonna set my microphone down right in front of it. And right now it's on the minimum 300 RPM. And we're just gonna raise it up from there all the way up to the maximum and get ourselves a little bit of some sound test here. And back down to minimum. 
So it's pretty loud, not going to lie. Definitely a lot louder than the laptop gets, that's for sure. But for some people, they would want to deal with that extra noise if it would mean their laptop got lower temps. Mine doesn't really seem to get lower temps, so I don't run it at a full load. I run it at like 1100 RPM, so it's still audible, but it was still doing probably a little something for some of the other stuff through some of the vents. I'm hoping that maybe doing that will stop it from doing... Uh, the little stutters this laptop used to do where it dropped down to 25 for like a couple seconds or something like that. But anyway, let's get into the game, shall we? All right, so we've got hardware info open here. So basically what we're gonna do to test is we're just gonna go and run a game or something. One that runs it pretty hard. I believe Cyberpunk ran it pretty hard. So we might try that. And then we'll hook the cooling pad up and see if it improves at all. So. I wish Afterburner would show me all the stats for the GPU, so it does, and that's mostly why we have to use this. We do get to see the CPU temps with Afterburner, but the GPU still is so new. It's just in this one Alienware laptop, as of this video anyway. So that's why we've got to rely on this. So we're going to leave that running in the background. So now let's go hop into a game. If Cyberpunk's not making high CPU temps, I'll go pick out another one, but... As of now, that's the one I'm going to try to pick. All right, I thought we would get a little bit of some gameplay here. In all honesty, this game's not pushing it up to the 100C I was thinking it was going to. But we're still in the 90s, so this can still work. We'll just play for a couple minutes here and let it get up to its max temp it's going to get up to. Then we'll go check what Hardware Info said. I started it up right before I started the game, so it shouldn't have any you know, average temps from just sitting on the desktop for 20 minutes or anything like that. But this will still work. You know, once we see what it can do, we'll go put the cooling pad under, and if it makes it cooler, awesome. If it doesn't, then it's not really that useful. Though I would still like to try a game that puts my CPU up higher, but I could, like, me can't remember what games I played that made it go up to 100. I have to go look at my uh, playlist. into a trash heap. Wow, look at that guy. He doesn't look like he's having a good time. He's having weird, like, drug problems. So yeah, it seems to hover from the like 88 up to 94. So now, I think I want to go try one more game, go figure out one that you know actually pushes that CPU, and then we'll test both of those with the cooling pad. This will just be a good baseline. It's not like this is cold temps, but it's not getting up to its max temp, you know. So let's move on. Real quick before we jump to the another game, I figured let's look at the hardware info. Otherwise, if we go to another game, it'll invalidate it. So here's the minimum temp it was at when we started. The current, which doesn't really matter. Our maximum was 101.5 and our average was 89. But that's obviously getting messed up a little by sitting on the desktop now. But it was probably about 90 to 89. So let's quickly go look at the GPU now. Where did it go? I think it's right here. Yep, there it is. So that only got up to a maximum of 66, average six, or an average of 61. The memory got up to 92, average 85. Some more stuff for the VDDC, 90 and 83. The hotspot was 86 and 77. So that's not too bad at all. The GPU actually is pretty damn good. It doesn't get that hot at all. But in any case, now let's go try another game. I'm just going to close this and I'll start it back up right as I'm starting the next game. All right, let's try some Baldur's Gate 3. I went and looked through some of my videos and this one it was hitting 100 to 102. 
while we were running through the city, so. Let's just get a little bit of gameplay here. And then we'll hook up the cooling pad. Well, well actually, I forgot to go show the RGB lighting and all that, so I'll probably go show that real quick before I get it under the laptop, seeing as you won't really be able to see the back of it. So I'll probably do that real quick and then try to add that in before I even did all these videos. Because it'll be kind of weird to still be showing stuff off at the end of the video, you know? I should uh, put that right after I'm done with the unboxing before we start with any of this. Why, hello, Misty. What you up to? You're gonna scratch a tree? Well, that's a good girl. Exactly what you should be doing. Oh, she's hyper. She wants to play. Well, I'll play with you in a minute. I gotta get done with this video first. Oh, Wave Mother. Queen of the Depths. Hear me. Please carry Holly to her final rest in the deep wilds. Please. Sorry. Are you here for a wave servant Holly's funeral? Oh, it's already started out of the just inside. Let's just keep walking around for a little bit here. As the kitten goes flying by, even though she's a full grown cat. Everyone that comes over for some reason just calls her a kitten, so I started doing it too. Going up to your tree. Alright, where else can we walk real quick here? Alright, this looks like a way up. But yeah, we're hitting like 101. Because this is a very CPU intensive town. Yeah, Act 3 is very CPU intensive. See, we're even dropping under 60 in some spots. No, it is Ultra on Ultra. But also on Ultra, which isn't generally the best thing to run games on. But most people want to see this laptop run games at Ultra, so I figured we'd keep it up. It's still 60 most of the time, so. Besides, a game like this, you don't even really need 60, to be honest. I just like it. The blushing. As long as it's not stuttering all over the place constantly, you know? And it doesn't really act like that. But, in any case, now why don't we go ahead and get the cooling pad under there and see how, how and if it changes the temps. And if so, by how much? All right, real quick, the temps got up to 101.4 and whatnot, and averaged about 99, so sitting at 100 basically the whole time for the CPU. Now let's cruise down to the GPU. Here it is. That was getting up to 64, 62, 88 for the memory. Hotspot was 87 max. So not bad. This GPU actually doesn't get that hot at all. It's just the CPU gets hot as hell. So hopefully this cooling pad will bring the CPU under control because the GPU doesn't really seem to really need any help. All right, well, we got this cooling pad all set up and it's on. I'm sure you can hear that it's on. At full blast, it's quite loud. So let's just run around and see what, uh, for like two minutes or so, like we did before, two, three minutes, and then we'll see what our temps we got up to. Now, they still get up to 100 when you like really load the processor up, like when it's loading the game at the first time, and if you were to do video editing, or if it was doing, what is that, shader pre-compiling, uh, pre then it's still gonna get up to the same 102, 101, even with this thing at full tilt. I think that's just the cooling system can't keep up with the CPU. So it just gets up to 100 and then just throttles itself to whatever it thinks it should go to, just like the Intel does. But it looks like it made a difference for in-game temp, because I'm pretty sure this was going like to 88 to 91 or something before. Now we're all sitting at like 84, 85, 86. All right, no, we're going up now. Maybe it just takes a lot longer for it to even out. No, it went back to 85, 86. We still go up to 89 in some spots though, 90. So no, it doesn't really seem to make a difference in game either, at least in this game. 
so that's kind of a shame. It must just be the paste job they did on the thing. Or, like I said, that's just the way the CPU is and there's nothing we can do about it. Besides liberating the wattage and making it run worse. Which you could do. Oh, I jumped down too far and died. Oopsie doobles. But yeah, as you can see, it still gets up to 101 when you're loading games and whatnot. So yeah, it's either a bad pace job or that's just how the CPU is. This thing didn't really seem to help at all. No, it'll be interesting. That, since it didn't work in this game, I severely doubt it's going to work in uh, Baldur's Gate. But we'll still try that one out, just to be fair. We already did this one. And we pretty much already know it's not helping. But it is what it is. So yeah, that can probably just go back to Amazon then. Because that was $109, and if it's not going to do anything besides make a bunch of noise, what's the point, right? I mean, at some points it seems like it might help a smidgen, but if it can still get back right up to those same 91, 92 degrees and still get up to 100, what's the point if it can get down to 83 in some spots, you know? That doesn't make any sense to me. So I guess in theory it does work slightly. But in any case, why don't we go try Baldur's Gate? I mean, I don't see why that one would all of a sudden, you know, make it seem like it's working, but... Well, let's go try it anyway. All right. So yeah, we still got up to 102. So all that stayed basically the same. We averaged 86. So I guess that is slightly better than before, even though it didn't look like it was doing much. It's still a little bit, but that's only like three, what, three or four degrees off of what it got before. We'll have to go back and look at what it got before, but I'm pretty sure it's only like one to three degrees difference for all that noise, but. And this guy wasn't even an issue in the first place, but it got up to an average of 56, a max of 61. So it definitely helped the GPU out slightly, but that guy wasn't really an issue, so not a big deal to me. But I'm hoping that maybe if I keep this thing, it'll stop the laptop from randomly stuttering. It has this random part where it'll stutter really bad here and there. And maybe it's not the CPU doing it. Maybe it's something else in there, like the VRMs connected to the CPU or something overheat randomly and make it drop down to 30 FPS. I mean, stuff like that happened on my old Asus G15 Advantage if they overheated. Didn't happen to me very often, but it did happen to me on occasion. So anyway, though, let's go try some Bullers Gate 3 now. Well, now we are in some Bullers Gate 3. As you can hear, that thing is whirling away down there. So let's see what it does for our attempts. We were basically just hovering around 101 almost the whole time we were going through town, so... Nope. Seems like it doesn't make a smidgen of difference. Didn't think it would. So, I think this laptop just is too powerful for it, because I've seen this thing drop other laptops like 20 degrees. So I thought, oh man, this might be similar to my old Asus G15 Advantage situation. If I can just get a cooling pad and then it'll... Instead of sitting at 96, it'll sit like 88 to 93 or something like that, and it's still high, but better than before. But this guy is like, no. I'm always going to be 101. But what I'm hoping is, I'm going to go and probably play some Cyberpunk or something, or this for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and I want to see if the fan, or if this thing does its weird big stutters that it used to do. And I'm not going to have it maxed out. I'm just going to put it down to like, you know, a reasonable speed where it's like matching the speed of the laptop's fans. I'm hoping maybe I can cool some other stuff down a little and maybe stop it from doing those giant stutters I was getting. But again, I don't know if that was something throttling in the laptop doing it, just something in the software of the laptop doing it, or if it was GPU drivers doing it. But I'm pretty sure these are basically the latest drivers without the adrenaline software. So I'm halfway tempted to try and install that again and see if maybe now I can just have the good drivers make a video out of that, because I'm tired of using Dell's drivers. I want to move to AMD's actual drivers here. So yeah, no, it's still getting up to the same temps effect. I think it's getting hotter than it was before, funny enough. I think we were only at like 101 going through here before. Now we're at 102 with this thing at full tilt. Could be wrong, it might be the exact same, but I swear it's like a degree hotter than it was. So yeah, that's kind of a shame. I was really hoping that this thing was going to bring temps down. But I'm not going to sit there and say that, oh, this cooling pad doesn't work on anything. It's a pile of crap. 
because it might just not work on my laptop. Maybe this laptop is just too big to make good contact. It doesn't really seem to be leaking any air out. It's leaking a little air out down by the speaker areas, but just a tad. It's not like all coming out from there, so it should still be working decently. I think that's plenty. Uh, it's pretty obvious it doesn't really help that much for this particular laptop, but hey, it can't win them all. And like I said, hopefully it will maybe stop it from doing that those huge lag spikes it was doing before. So I'm going to go play this game for a little while, see if it does that, and then we'll wrap the video on up. All right, I just alt-tabbed out of the game real quick so we could get our data here. So... Yeah, seemed like, in fact, it was hotter than before <laughs> on the CPU. So I think this thing just chokes the CPU. And the CPU, it's like only by a degree or so, but I don't believe we got to 105 before. So if anything, that must do more harm than good. For at least my laptop, anyway. It doesn't mean it's not going to work for nobody. And then GPU temperature... I think that's similar to what it was before. It might have been 65 or something like that. Average of 55. So, yeah. Did do a bad job. And the hot spot temperature, 82. I think it was 88 before with no cooling pad. Something like that. So it definitely dropped some temps for the GPU a little bit. So, and I'm hoping it will make maybe that weird giant drop down to 30 FPS kind of stutter go away. If it maybe that was something throttling because it wasn't getting enough airflow, maybe this thing I've got it like 1,100 RPM or something like that. So, at least that's what the little digital thing tells me. So I feel like that's not too much louder than my laptop. I can hear it like about just as much as I would be able to hear the laptop whirling its fans. So it's not too bad. So I'm um, like I said, I'm gonna go play uh, Baldur's Gate 3 for a little bit here. And then afterwards, I'll probably go play Cyberpunk for a little bit too, just to see if either one of those do that weird stutter nonsense I was talking about. And if it doesn't, then at least it did something good for me. It might not have really improved my temps, but if it gets rid of that big stutter I was having, that would be cool. So I'm gonna go do that, and then we'll go wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for this video. And unfortunately, it didn't really work for me. Now, it did leave me with some blue balls. <laughs> I know, that's a pretty lame joke but I really was hoping that it was gonna get my temps a little lower. So it did kind of make me wish that it worked, but hey, you can't win them all. The way this uh, laptop's cooling system works might just not work with a cooling pad. It uh, has a bunch of weird rubber underneath it and it's supposed to use that to like get air to go where it's supposed to go. And the motherboard's like inverted. So I don't know if that fucks with the cooling solution or something, but I'm not an engineer or anything like that, but it's either that or it's not having, not having good contact with a thermal paste or whatever they use for the CPU, because the GPU was doing fine, but that CPU was just really getting up there. Or, much like my last laptop, the CPU, even on balance, this wasn't even maxed out or anything like this. That was just balanced mode. So, it might just be the CPU is too much for the cooling system, and no matter what you do, unless you run it on quiet mode or limit the wattage and lose a bunch of performance, I think it's just gonna sit at 100. Now, I will keep this cooling pad if it stops my laptop from doing this weird shit it was doing where it would just freeze up for like, not freeze up, but drop down to like 25 FPS for like a second, and then it would go back to being fine again. And I played Cyberpunk and Baldur's Gate 3 for 10 minutes a piece, and I didn't have a single one of those with this cooling pad at like 1,100 RPM. So I'm hoping that maybe if I just do that, it will, you know, prevent any more of those lag spikes. Because if you're playing a first person shooter, which is what I got this thing to do when I go to friends' houses and stuff, it's uh, not really cool if you drop down to 25 FPS right as you're about to aim at somebody's head or right as someone's shooting you in the back. It even happened in a Halo Infinite video I made that you guys will see soon, where I was right in the middle of a game and all of a sudden it dropped down to like 30 FPS and then it dropped down to like 5 FPS for like a minute and the CPU went up to 100% usage. I don't know what was going on, but it was very strange. I think that was just the game being wonky though. I don't know for sure, but thought I'd mention it. So that's my hope. If it can at least do that, I might keep it. I got 30 days to test. So I'm just gonna keep testing games. And if we see that shit happen, this thing's going right back to Amazon because it didn't do a dang thing for me at that point. Not really worth the $109 anymore for me. But 
It might be a great cooling pad for other people. I wish my Isuzu G15 Advantage still worked. I'd go and try that out, you know, but it is what it is. So in any case, that's about all for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.